All right, guys, welcome to another 10 Minute Tuesday. Um, so far, these have been kind of a hit and a success. Yeah. And we're enjoying doing them. They're easy, and we think the information is pretty relevant. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this week, we're going to do one um, about different hiding situations, different hides in a field. We get this question a lot like, what do you guys prefer? A frames, layout blinds. Um, all that different stuff. And so we thought it'd be an easy 10 minute Tuesday to do probably some information you guys want. Yeah. Um, yep. yep. So Connor. Yes. <laughs> from a filming perspective. Yes. What's easiest for you? Um, so duck blinds are great because I yeah. can move around yep. and I can hide into the reeds and everything like that. Um, I like, so I like uh, hunting in, well, the hardest part with, duck hunting is my camera gear and where to put that right because my i have to put my yep. uh my backpack somewhere and you know whatever whatever um but a frames is my go-to choice of filming and it's obviously not ideal when it comes to like killing birds because uh, <laughs> for not in the middle of a field it's not <laughs> um because it well but, there's just a lot of yeah uh, there's a lot of uh it's high. You yeah, know, it's, it's big. Well, it's a lot bigger than layout blind. I think yeah. is what you're trying to say. Yeah. And it's it's uh, it's, it's definitely awesome, though, when it comes to filming. Yeah. Because, like, I can, you know, I can, people move more. You can get those those things. You can get the emotions. You can get somebody calling. You can, you know. Well, I think a big thing, a too, that maybe you're not even mentioning, when we're all in, a like, an A-frame blind, mm -hmm. we can all talk to each other, like, in yep. the same huddle. Mm -hmm. Right. So like you're all in the same blind per se. Yeah. That's what's kind of cool about like, you know, natural hunting for ducks, like vegetation. Yep. And the vegetation allows you to like really move. Right. Um, I did think that layout blind situation we had with, uh, the dudes from Mora. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that was a pretty good situation with Brian and Aaron. Yeah. We were kind of like propped up for that. Well, yeah, but there was so much grass behind us that you could like move and like yeah. get around a little bit yep. in there. Yeah, it would have been so better if nice. I had my ghillie suit. Totally. But yeah, it's and that's and that is kind of my answer. Yeah, my the ghillie suit is just is my answer to um, a lot of hunting situations. Like if people want to go in layout blinds, the hard part about layout blinds for me is that um, that people stay in them. And so if you want to film people's faces or whatever, like, or film them when they're calling, you have to do all of that when the birds aren't flying because, you know, you have to, people just, they, they stay in them and they, they stay hidden and that's the point of them. And so like, if, if a bird can't see you, yeah, like my camera usually can't either. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, okay. So like, but like from a hunting perspective, yeah. Um, uh, here's a few things that I can think of, yeah. right? So like, one thing we do that I don't know if a lot of people do around the country and it's, it doesn't always work, but I'd say like 90% of the time we grass our blinds in ditch grass. Yep. Cause like so many fields that we hunt around here, they have a little impression, you know, where it's essentially like a water pool, yep. like a little bit of like a, a yeah, it's a drain, ditcher, tile, yeah, a drain drainage area in yep. the field. And so we can hunt right out of that. Yep. Um, which makes it a lot easier because then you're, you're, blind is already grassed. Uh -huh. So I don't carry around most of the year. I don't carry around like a huge layout blind. I just, I like the mobility of a small little blind. I don't really care about how comfortable I am. Yeah. I know that's going to change as I get older probably, <laughs> but like right now I'm just like, dude, I don't want to lug around some big donkey layout, layout blind. blind. I yeah. just really don't like, I just want, I want something simple, small, compact. It's like, that's why those lucky duck, those yeah. little like Ground guns. blinds. Yeah, the little running gun blinds. Those are the shit. Yeah. Because they're so easy to just, you know, this spot, that spot, you know, and just move them around and adding a tiny bit. Like if you had to regrass that whole blind <laughs> so much faster than grassing some huge ass layout blind. Right. So I, I love those. Um, but man, I think we love A frames. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing that I thought was worked really well was when we used um, the pine trees or the pine branches for A-frames. Yep. And, I mean, it, it's green. It's a natural green that's going to stay like that, you know, even after you chop it off and chop it down At or whatever. At least for a while. Yeah. And, you know, and people and, and birds are used to it. And that kind of green, you know, spruce trees or whatever, um, they're junipers or, you know, yeah, whatever cypress, you want to call them. Juniper, yeah, juniper, spruce. They, they're all over the country. And so totally. they're used to yeah, seeing Yeah, that's true. Them, you know, and so I, I think that that's a... 
Oh, that's a really good way yeah. to go if you're not going to go with ditch grass or whatever. Yeah. So we do usually go ditch grass. Yeah. But if you're in an area where it applies, like, I mean, Joey's backyard here. Yeah. There's those little like spruce trees. Yeah. You know, like along the edge. Yep. So like when we were hunting it, yes, we grassed it in ditch grass, but then it had some spots that I didn't really like. Yeah. And so like quick fix, I just shoved a bunch of those like saplings, you know, like little cypress trees. Yeah. Like, and that's it. the thing is that those, you can just kind of lay over the top and yeah. it just covers up the whole area. Whereas ditch grass, you need a lot of ditch grass yeah. to cover Me up the whole Me and Joey thing. cut ditch grass to start the year for like three hours. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. we like fill an entire pickup bed so that we can grass layout blinds and, mm-hmm. and A-frames. I need to um, make a better hide for my boat. I need to spray my boat because right now it's just a giant oh, silver yeah. aluminum. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, you can bend over cattails or whatever to go over top of it, but it's just better if you can, yeah. you know, spray paint it. And well, yeah. I mean, you could actually, there's some really cool kits you can buy online yeah. that aren't super crazy that you can, yeah, you can actually do like a pretty cool paint job with like yeah. a stencil or whatever. Oh, yeah, um, that's, that's a good point. You use stencil, and sp- you can paint the whole thing. But you want to just get, like, marine-grade paint or that. I mean, eventually that spray paint is just going to come back off. Right. But anyway, um, in terms of a field, though, if we're using an A-frame, we do usually try to find that divot or impression yep. in the field, or we try to find, you know, an area where we can hunt them on a field edge. Mm-hmm. You know, so, like, you know, like a, space- a hay bale... At well, the end yeah, of a hay, a hay bale. bale or like even like a field edge, like if you're on the edge of the field right, yeah, into yeah. the next one where there's a line of ditch grass or um, yeah. whatever it may be. I'm saying line. if you want to hunt in the middle of a field, yeah, totally. find a hay bale, yep. find, you know, something else that's that's been there. Yeah. You know, like when, when we had Nick Johnson on and he was talking about hides and stuff like that, mm-hmm. that was one thing that really stuck with me. It's just like, oh, like if you're walking into um, a room with a bunch of carpet and then there's a bump in the carpet. Like you're going to notice that bump, but you're not going to notice the shoe. Correct. Right. Yeah, totally. And so if you know, so you have to be the shoe. Yeah. That's a really good analogy. Yeah, dude. And Nick's it was. a genius. Yeah. But like, I mean, the dude's a huge nerd, <laughs> um, but he's like, yeah, if you walk into a living room and there's a tennis shoe on the ground, yeah. you'd walk right by it. Yep. You know, cause it's natural to your environment. Like that's always there. So the geese are the same way. Yeah, so if you got a hay bale way. that's just sitting there or, you know, spruce tree or whatever yeah like it's going to be better than you know if you have you know maybe then it could be better than just a layout that's in the middle or whatever or like you know if you're just in all white and you lay in the middle of a field when you're doing snow goose hunting and that kind of a thing yeah another so the last thing i was going to mention is we've been kind of playing around with it this year but like laying under the socks yeah even for darks yep um that's another way you can do it which i actually think is a great way to do it yeah you got to have enough socks and you got to have enough birds in your area to make sense to use that many socks probably but if you do laying in the field under those is sweet and if you look online you can see all these different videos and stuff of like a prop up board yeah where it's literally just like a piece of plywood with like a you know whatever prop board, yeah it. prop behind it that kind of holds you up mm-hmm. and a lot of guys just make those um, yep so that's definitely that's definitely another way to do it but man overall I think um, we've even hunted them in the middle of a field in an A-frame. Yep. And we still can shoot them. Yep. So. And biggest thing is movement. Yeah. Um, for, for, you know, in my opinion, like, I'm, I'm not going to say this as a matter of fact, but, like, if you, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of guys that just lay down in the middle of the field yeah. and then the geese land right on them. Yeah, totally. And so not moving is, is the biggest thing, especially if you're not calling. And if you are calling, be cognizant of that. I remember we were in an A-frame. And uh, I'm not going to say who we were with or where we were. Cause, sure, sure. Because you, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, uh-huh. though. And um, the people were calling and calling and calling. And they were just, and the, the geese weren't doing it, right? right? They were flying over top of us. They weren't doing it. And they thought that it was the hide that we had because there's a giant hole in the top of the A-frame. And I'm like, guys, no. Every time you call, your back yeah. is moving the back of the A-frame. Right, right. And so it's like going, you know, like the entire ditch grass is like waving at yeah, these yeah, geese, yeah. right? I'm like, that's what's going on. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? And, and, you know, and they were obsessed with us getting more and more ditch grass over top of us. I'm like, that's just going to make it a bigger monster that's moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, and then they, you know, they scooted forward. They did figure it they, out. They though. did. They did adjust yeah. that. But yeah, it was like, yeah. So if you're calling, like your body naturally moves when you call, not just yeah. your hands, but your entire body. And if you're, you know, yeah. you got to, got to be kind of sitting that. All right. To wrap this up, we like all different scenarios. We love a frame, especially in the winter. It's warmer, lay up lines, lay in the field, but find some ditch grass, find a natural way to hide. That's your best scenario. And we will see you next week.